Hey guys, Kev here, and I have an unboxing to do for you. I'm going to use the Artisan Cutlery Echo. Sorry, CJRB. It came in an Artisan box, though, I think. <clears throat> Maybe not. Um, and, uh, yeah, this is really cool. It's a Ray Laconico design. This is probably my favorite of his licensed designs because it's very unique looking. It's different, right? It's not... Um, a plain and simple model like he usually does, which is fine, right? It's just something that personally I kind of, you know, when I see one, I'm just like, eh, you know, it's another one, which, uh, you know, some people love that. Uh, it's a personal thing, but this really hits. Now, it does come with a budget clip. I uh, bought these and put them on. I got these on Amazon for like $9. Shout out to um, Lacey Lace EDC. Lacey, she recommended these. You can get two packs for nine bucks on Amazon. If I remember, I'll link them. Um, I will say they look weird. Like they're a very bright titanium color. So they don't finish them, I think, much. Um, and they are rather soft because I bent it because it was a tapper. And I went like this and it just like folded down and I had to bend it back. It's fine. And it actually has good retention. So... Not the end of the world. It also says it doesn't come with screws, but then it did. But the screws don't actually fit in the screw holes. It was really weird. So these are the stock screws. I did get them to fit. So, um, yeah, anyway, that's the Echo. It's cool. So this comes from, uh, I'll link this down below from Artisan. I have a link. But this package comes from Blade Ops, I believe. And uh, they, well, we'll see what's in here because they're sending me a couple packages, I think. One is an item that they sent me before, and they're kind of sending a replacement. And one is a um, new thing for me to check out, which is cool. So I kind of opened it from the bottom here. Hogue stickers. A lot of Hogue stickers. Uh, let's see. Blade up stickers. I don't know why they threw in so many damn stickers. Um, there's a sheet in here. I think because I bought one of these. One is a uh, invoice. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, I think that's everything. Lots of penis in there. I'm not a big fan of the penis, but hey, what are you going to do? So let's close this up. Here's your blade up stickers. We'll put that up here. Shout out to them. I do have an affiliate link to Blade Ops that is linked down below. If you want to pick up either of these knives, if they're in stock or anything else, definitely do that. Oh, that's a cool one. I love the compound. And uh, obviously a pinup girl is cool. I think that's what they're called. So real quick, let's check this. Um, this is the Counter-Strike. As you guys know, I had one of these in. I really loved it. And... I wanted to buy it, but I found out the next day when I was carrying it that it didn't want to retract when it was upside down. Now, I know that's weird, but it did not want to retract when I did this. I was walking, and I was just kind of playing with my knife, and I went like this because I was walking, and I had my hand just aiming down my side. And it just didn't retract. It was super weird. This feels very similar either way. I mean, it's still going to be a stronger retraction like this. Because you're going straight down. But it's firing or it's retracting when down. And it's firing when up. Which I think are the two indicators here. I think he checked them for me too. I really love this model. And what I'm going to do... quick and i did a disassembly on this i actually disassembled the one that they sent because of that reason and um you know i was i wanted to buy one beforehand and i still wanted one after so i i said i would buy that one because i felt obligated i took it apart you know what i mean but the dudes at blade ops shout, shout out to andy uh, he was like no nah, dude i'm not gonna stick you with that like if it has an issue, we'll send it back to Hogue and we'll get it sorted out. So he uh, had me send it back to him, which was really cool of them 
I appreciate that. I was willing to buy it, but obviously, you know, I don't mind that they said they would take it back. I'm flipping the clip over here. It takes a T15 and it comes with an extra screw and you can mount the clip lefty righty and you can also have a flat screw here instead of the skull crusher the only other thing that i wish this knife had is um a uh what the hell was i gonna say oh i wish it didn't have this lanyard thingy i wish it didn't have that and then it would be perfect let's see if it's still good to go so we'll see i noticed I don't know if it like changes the mechanics when you put this screw in versus the glass breaker. It really shouldn't. Like, I don't know if I over tighten it and that could somehow cause it not to retract, but it feels fine. I think. Yeah, feels fine. I think we can double check here. Just loosen this and see, does that make it? I don't think that's any different than now. Oh, it felt, felt good. Yep, seems good to go. So I'm glad to have this back. Did I put it on the wrong side? No. Goes in like this, blade edge against your side. I love this drop point. I really wish they would do this model uh, or the carbon fiber one they did. They did like an exclusive carbon fiber one and they did it in a double edge. If they did that in a drop point, I'd be all over it. But one thing I didn't notice in the unboxing slash disassembly, I think, maybe I did. I did, I figured it out in the disassembly is this side's aluminum. So there is aluminum on here and then G10 on this side. And it really adds to the feel of the knife. It makes it feel warm, like it, I don't know how to explain that better, but sometimes an aluminum uh, shell will feel sort of uh, cold, you know? So this one's definitely a little stronger on the switch than this, but uh, both feel great. I, I really love the Counter-Strike and I love the uh, live wire, so that's cool. All right, real quick, let's get to the next one. And I always have those Nipex pliers linked down below. Nipex, Knipex, however you say it. I know people say it differently. I know the company says it one way. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, you don't need to tell me. Thank you. Uh, but I'll link them down below if you're interested. Come on there, baggy. What's going on here, buddy? Holy cow, are you kidding me? All right, I give up. Not that I'll ever put that back on, so it doesn't matter. But yeah, Hogo TFs, man. They make some good... Sh so this next one's really cool. This is the uh, Cleric 2, I believe, from Heretic. And it is all in Ultim. So he told me already, Andy did, that these sold out already. <laughs> so they gone. But uh, I get to check one out. Here is the uh, lube sample that you get with your knife. And here it is. So I was really excited to check out the Cleric because it has this sort of side switch. You can see the mechanism in here. Not sure how I feel about that um, with the Ultim cage. It is cool. Um, I'll, I'll be honest right off the bat. I think it looks cooler in pictures. Um, can't reverse the clip. Oh, okay. And it's got like a four inch blade. And this is in Magna Cut now. I did ask them what they heat treat their Magna Cut to when I had the um, when I had the Colossus, and they said sixty to sixty one. So that's pretty poor heat treated uh, Magna Cut. Would definitely want to see that above sixty two, at least sixty two. But this thing has a really good action. I mean, it really fires, and it feels super solid. I mean, it's got all the jank you get on a OTF, but really cool to see the whole mechanism slide up. Like, look at that. Pretty cool. And then close. 
You can see the blade in there? Yeah, that is gnarly. Okay, this is cool in Ultim. Yeah. I like the switch in this orientation. I do quite a bit. Now, this is another one where it's kind of set up for a righty, I think. The way they step this, the way your fingers push on it, it works better right-handed. Um, but it works fine, lefty. It's not terrible. Yeah, this is really cool. Now, I, I did hear from Andy that these are like um, $700 or something like that, which is crazy. I mean, I get it. I just don't think I would spend it. Um, it is a double-edged dagger. It does seem like the uh, edge bevel is really weird. Um, oh, okay. So they did that on purpose. So you'll see. Let me see if I can show you. Well, maybe it's just the angle of things. Yeah, it's just how it hits the light. You can see it almost looks like there's no bevel here, but then I twist it and it shows up. So, yeah, that's just the light playing games. I like the finish on here. Definitely a tactical boy right here. This is really cool. I do like this quite a bit. I think it's a little bit big for me. If they made a cleric that was like a three and a quarter inch blade. Like if they made a cleric that was Kershaw Livewire size. Or Hogue Counter Strike size, right? I would really like that. I think. Um, let's check the blade lengths on these. So, end to end, it looks like they are the same length, and then they are the same length back here too. So those are the same. And then on the uh, cleric, you can see the size difference. I mean, it is massive. There's like an inch of extra blade, and extra handle so it's two more inches overall on the knife which is a lot you know when you're carrying and holding it but i will say it's very slim and and it feels smaller than it is so i think it would carry pretty well although it's it's a pretty big stick to be carrying around in your pocket um that's why i really like the counter strike it's very slim line you know Definitely one of my favorites, if not my favorite OTF to date, is the uh, Counter-Strike. So, yeah. Let me know what you guys think down below. I am impressed with both of these. I don't know what you'll see content-wise. I already did a lot on this one, and this one is not available. You know, um, I've shown it here. I'm not going to really be able to carry it and use it, so... This might be all you see. That action is absolutely gnarly. <laughs> yeah, it's really cool. Um, not sure it's cool enough that I want to drop the 700 bones on it, but if it fell in my lap or if it was like three, 400 bucks, I'd for sure pick one up, you know? Um, but that is not the case. And uh, so it will probably be going back to blade ops and i really appreciate them for sending it my way so thank you guys check out blade ops link down below use that link guys i would appreciate it i love you all i hope you have an absolutely fantastic day and i will catch you later